Let's take a couple of minutes and we're going to check out Pioneer's ARC app operating from an Android phone on the Pioneer DEHS 1000 UB. What software do I need to make the Pioneer ARC app work on my in-dash receiver? Let's start with the in-dash receiver. Go to pioneerelectronics.com and download and install the latest firmware update for your particular in-dash receiver. Your Android phone will need version 5.0 or higher of the Android operating system. Then you can go to the Google Play Store and search for Pioneer ARC. Look for this icon in the store. Download and install the Pioneer ARC app on your phone. So I've got the uh, proper software installed on my phone. I have the Pioneer ARC app installed on the phone. Let's check the in-dash receiver uh, for a couple of settings to make sure we're all set up and ready to work uh, with the ARC app in my Android phone. So from any source here, and we're on the AM FM radio source now, and that's fine. I'm going to press in on the volume control. And here I want to roll along until I find the system settings. Here's system, and we'll press enter. So here, let's roll along until we find the Android wired connection. Here's the Android wired connection, and we'll press enter there. So I have two choices here. I have app control, and I have memory. So if you want to use the Android MTP function or media transfer protocol function, and this allows you to play back music uh, that's stored on your phone or the sound from most, of, most any app from your phone right through the system, you can choose the memory function. But in this case, I'm going to demonstrate Pioneer's ARC app, an app on the phone to control the radio. So we want this setting, which is app control. And we'll press enter again. So under Android Wired, we want app control. Let's roll over to the next setting. Now, this says prompt the app and automatically start. So when I plug in my Android phone, that should automatically start the app. If you don't want that to happen, you can change it here. You can change it, uh, switch that off, and it won't automatically start the app. I want it to automatically start the app, so I'm going to choose on. And we'll press enter. Let's roll over to the next setting, which is USB Auto On. Again, if I want the, um, the app to start automatically, I want USB Auto On. If you don't want it on, you can switch that off right here. And if you switch that off, that means when you plug in something through USB, it won't automatically switch to the USB source and begin to play a track. So if you just want to plug your phone in and charge it but not switch to the source, you can choose USB Auto Off. In this case, I want USB Auto switched on. I'm going to roll over to the next setting, which is over to the clock set. So we're all done. Those are all the settings we need. I'm going to hit the, um, the band button to escape. So I'm just going to plug my phone in through USB to start the ARC app. Now, as you can see on my particular phone and in-dash receiver combination, the ARC app started up automatically because I'm using the prompt the app feature. And we're just going to say OK here to go past the caution screen. On your particular uh, phone and in-dash receiver combination, maybe the ARC app doesn't start automatically and you need to start it uh, manually. So here's what we're going to do. We'll cancel out of the ARC app here. So the ARC app is closed right now. I'll even go to the AM FM radio source. And my phone is connected and I want to start the ARC app. I'm just going to press and hold the volume control for a couple of seconds. And that prompts the ARC app to start. And we'll say OK to the caution screen. The first thing we'll do with the ARC app is change the source. So I'm going to swipe up. And here you can see some available sources. If I want to go to the AM FM radio, I'll touch right there, and you can see that we switch to the AM FM radio, and we have the same radio station here, applies right here. I can get to my radio station presets across the top here. Here you can see we're changing radio station presets. And I can change my AM FM band down here. Here's FM2, FM3, the AM band and back around to my original uh, FM band number one. If I touch on the right hand side of the screen I'll seek up to the next available radio station.
If I swipe across the screen, that'll move through my radio station presets. Now, let's change the source to music that is stored on my phone. So I'm going to swipe up, and we'll slide over here. You can see some other sources that are available, uh, some other apps that are available that I could listen to music from. And I'm going to go to music that's stored on my phone and press Enter. That changes directly to the music that's stored on my phone and begins to play a track. And you can see we have the track information here. If I swipe from the top down, I can choose different artists to play different songs. Here's artists. We'll scroll through and we'll choose something to play. If I want to change the volume of what I'm listening to, just put two fingers on the screen and turn it like it's a volume control. Here you can see we're adjusting the volume up and back down. Let's open our system menu here. And we have just about every function that you can do with the audio system, with the in-dash receiver, you can do from your phone using it as remote control. So if you're looking for audio functions, let's touch that. Here you can see we can adjust our equalizer settings. And this is adjusting the equalizer on the in-dash receiver right now. Here's the subwoofer output. We can switch it on or off. Let's scroll down a little here. Here's our subwoofer phase control. We can switch it. We'll make it a uh, reverse phase. Subwoofer level output, we can change that right here as well. Change our bass boost. Here's the loudness control, source level adjuster, fader and balance control. We can drag that around on the screen to change the fade and balance. So every audio function that's available on the in-dash receiver is also available on, uh, on the ARC app. We'll open up our menu again. Here we can manage different apps uh, that are available. These are apps that I have installed on my phone. There are other apps available as well. And we'll go back. And here I can change the appearance of the Arc app. If I want to have different colors on the screen, we can do that here. So now let's go back out. And you can see that we changed the colors. Let's change to a different source. How about Spotify? So here you can see we're in Spotify and you can choose anything you'd like to play. If you want to go back to the ARC app, just bring up your recent apps and choose the ARC app. 